We're going to get started with the Versalino platform. These are the components that you will need in order to program the Versalino. First of all, the Versalino itself. Uh, the Versalino has no uh, ability to plug in directly to your computer uh, for it to be programmed. So you will need uh, an FTDI, FTDI breakout board. These can be bought from SparkFun or other resellers. They cost about $15. It has a six uh, pin uh, female header that plugs into six pins uh, in a row on this portion of the Versalino. Uh, you also will need the USB cable itself which plugs into the uh, breakout board like so. As you can see here, here's the six pin female header. There's only one way this plugs into the into the Versalino, like so. I won't plug it in. Uh, you'll also need uh, any sort of LED. LEDs have a positive and a negative side. Uh, electrode, you have to plug them in the right way. Uh, the, the flat side of the bulb itself is the negative. Uh, electrode. The longer electrode is the positive. The negative will be plugged into the ground. Uh, the positive will be plugged into any one of the I.O. pins. There's a ground on this I.O. strip here. There's one over here. Uh, this happens to be bus B, as you see, which is a mirror image of bus A. We'll take note of that later when we're programming the uh, uh, Versalino in the uh, coding language. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do uh, after you get all this hardware or before you just won't be able to do anything with the uh, with your programming until you get the hardware necessary is go to the Arduino website and download the 1.0 uh, version of the IDE for your particular operating system. Then you can go to the Virtuobotics website download the virtu Versalino library for the Arduino IDE. Uh, once, you, uh, once you've downloaded that compressed file, you'll need to decompress it uh, wherever it happens to be downloaded. I'll show you that. <clears throat> 